What's up everybody, I'm the man Goose, you are awesome, and uh, I haven't done Goose Bites in a while, I've been pretty busy and there wasn't a lot going on with the games, but for the past two weeks there have been, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and somebody did call me out that I haven't been doing it, so uh, yeah, we don't have anything for Metabuff, nothing for Visionary, we do have some stuff for Ameta Studios and Predecessor, and Undying Games and Ethereal, so let's start with Ameta Studios and Predecessor, uh, still working on their lane minions, um, they just want to let us know, if, you know, there's a lot involved with doing the lane minions with doing an AI that has to interact with all sorts of things in the environment but they are going to be um, doing the internal testing of the lane minions this week and uh, they'll let us know how that goes after that they still have to do the mini map and the scoreboard um, they decided that they're going to start putting some of the monolith assets into the jungle don't know how I feel about that I'll have to take a look and see how it plays in the game and how it looks in the game before I really make a final call on that i did like that they were going with a more legacy feel overall but the monolith assets are pretty um beautiful and clean so we'll have to see how they look in the game um their sound designer patrick pony had to leave the team it was an amicable um separation it wasn't anything that they were like fighting or anything he just he had a lot going on in his life and he couldn't devote the time necessary uh, the good thing here is they already have somebody that they're kind of training up to uh, replace him. And more importantly, he had already done everything he needed to do from a sound engineering aspect to for the alpha to be re-released. So no progress lost for Omega Studios. So that's great news to hear. And they are trucking right along. Hopefully that alpha will be out pretty soon. Let's move on to Undying Games. They have been releasing a crap load of voice lines on their YouTube channel that'll be linked in the video description below. So if you want to check out voice lines for some of their myths, they are very good. Um, Paragon, of course, didn't have any voice lines, and it seems Ethereal is going to have a lot of voice lines, and they're going to be um, they're going to be amazing. They are so good. So if you haven't checked those out, go check those out right meow. Also, in their Discord, they've been having a lot more interaction with the community. They've started doing kind of these impromptu community corners. None of them have really been scheduled. In fact, the first one I started on accident, I just kind of hung out in their voice chat and bugged uh, Owen, one of their founders, and it ended up turning into a big thing. So if you want to if you want to go join their Discord, um, look for a bunch of people to show up in their voice chat. You don't have to ask the questions in voice if you're kind of shy about people hearing your voice. You could type them out and they'll get to them eventually. So. That's a good thing there, and that's all I got for you guys this week. Um, we did do an interview with one of the voice actresses for Ethereal, the the voice actress that does Marina. Her name is Somniatic. I'll link her to YouTube. She's amazingly talented. The interview was an absolute joy, so if you want to check that out on this Friday's For the Minions, be sure to tune in. But uh, that's going to be it for now, folks. You guys have a good one.